Hello, my name is Olga and I'm a designer, maker and creator of flowers and tool embroidery. This is a botanical type embroidery where I use dry and preserved flowers with which I create embroidery style, floral patterns and tapestries. Welcome to my office. I'm going to show you around my working space, explain a little bit more about my processes and how my creative day goes by. I am a trained graphic designer, but through various experiments with wreath making and flower styling, I came to develop this technique where I use tool fabric as my base and then I create these designs using dry and preserved flowers. of these flowers that I work with are grown in my garden and also foraged for on my local walks. This is common hogweed and it's got a beautiful shape. Everything has potential if you just look at it in a certain way or find a way to attach it. Even weeds can be beautiful to make something with. Check out the snapdragon's seed heads. They look like tiny skulls. I like to think that I use almost nature as my thread and I use a variety of flowers and foliage, little bits of grass and little bits of stems. The flowers are taking over my house. This is in my utility room and I've got a little drying station here, just a wire across. And for some bizarre reason, I've got dandelions drying in my bathroom. Not kidding you, it is in the bathroom. I've always loved making and coming from a graphic design background, I think that has helped me a lot in terms of defining some of my ideas. Each individual piece takes a long time. I need to be careful not to break things. I also need to be in the right frame of mind when I work with flowers. But I'm very lucky to be doing what I really love. So. And nature in general is a huge inspiration for my work. I'm in the north of England with some amazing landscapes. You know, if I feel down or if I feel I've got a creative block, I can always just go down there, you know, explore, observe, and just forget about my work a little bit. And that always gives me a lot of positivity and a lot of new ideas as well. Ah, an owl! I just saw an owl. Did you see that? It just came out. My craft studio is really just a room in my house and that's where I spend most of the time making. It's always full of stuff. This is my table. These are some of the things I've collected over the past year. Some grasses, all the little extras that I need, thread, pins. This is one of my favorite pieces that I've done to date and it's the seed pod of the dandelions are called dandelion clocks here in the UK and I decided to make a clock out of dandelion clocks so there's always a lot of mess I create a lot of mess whilst working a lot of the time I get asked why are the flowers so bright and how they dry so well and my main answer is really that nature is amazing and I think stop and you take the time to have a look around and to work with nature you will start observing lots and lots of different fun things about nature. I don't really know what else to tell you. I hope you enjoyed my little tour. If you want to learn a little bit more in depth about my processes and my methods of working I hope to see you maybe um, as one of my students in the course that's coming up. Thank you and bye!